They have fabulous properties. You have an edge because you work with one of them. However, you are not the resident horticultural expert in the building that they've just taken over. And just because it is fiscally responsible, they are calling for four bids, including the company that has the building, you because you have a good relationship from one of their other properties, and two other very well-known companies. Now, in our scenario, everybody has a great reputation. Everybody could do the job superbly well. Everybody has a list of clients and references that would make most of us gasp, including you. When the price is probably going to be fairly close. But this is one of these ideal companies, they got big bucks. You come in it with a suggestion they hadn't thought of, they can afford it. When everything else is equal, the presentation can make the difference. So what we have is the Fairmont example put in this situation for you. Is that something of interest? Good. Can I have an amen? Amen. All right. Let's say congratulations. I promise you, you will never go wrong congratulating anybody on something that they have a right to be proud of. It's for your entertainment. It's a hazard to my health. Congratulations. Now, find something, and this is true in any circumstance that they can be proud of. It could be as congratulations on winning the contract for this building. It could be, congratulations, if this is a new client that you don't have a relationship with, it can be, congratulations. Every single person who interacted with me on the way to my meeting greeted me and smiled. We can tell your core values are really at work. It could be their advertising campaign. But what do most people do? I absolutely agree with Eric. It's, they, they talk too much. So, good morning. My name is Mary Smith. I'm from the Smith Company. We've been in business for this many years. This is who we work with. This is what we're known for and we'd love to work for you. Nobody cares. Talk about them. They must know something about you or you would not have the appointment. And let's face it, if they're already saying yes, does it matter if you haven't got around to telling them your company history? All right, what are you proud of? Now, you have some theatrical choices. You have a challenge. Or you have an amazing opportunity. Perhaps if they have just taken over this building, that might be a good choice. You have an amazing opportunity to take what is known as one of the best buildings in San Francisco and making an even greater statement. Oh, you have an important decision to make. Of all the companies who could help you, who is going to give you the most distinctive environment? You notice you haven't said I yet. This is all about them. Thank you for the opportunity to tweet this. You never thank a prospect for their time. Is it bad? Well, it isn't bad, but everybody else does that, including the copier salesperson. What you are doing them is thanking them for the opportunity to discuss how Fripp's innovative horticultural services may be your best choice to fill in the blank. This is getting to the point. You are there to discuss why you're the best choice. And again, <coughs> if the other three companies who could be perfectly good, but if they're not doing it, isn't that going to give you an edge? Yes. Yes. Give her a prize. That was the right enthusiasm. <laughs>